All right, my electrolysis setup is finished. Uh, you can see I've got the stand built now, and uh, worked out pretty nice. I like it being independent of the electrolysis tank uh, because now if I ever want to use a larger tank or whatever, I always can. I can transfer that stand to another tank. Uh, my feet are missing on this end, so I'll get those tomorrow from Lowe's. But it turned out nice. Uh, you can see I have this chain uh, configured here, and uh, that is. Um, attached to a really really strong plastic hook and the skillet will hang inside of there. I don't have it filled up yet, I'm getting ready to do that now uh, as well as getting ready to hook up my battery charger. But the chain is adjustable so I can raise that and lower it and it's um, you know won't have to worry about uh, fooling with hanger at all. So, But there it is. It is complete. So now I'm going to fill it up and um, put my uh, washing soda in it and see if it works okay the battery is hooked up now and um, one thing I did is I didn't want uh, because you can't take the um, because you can't remove the jumper cables off of the battery I didn't want um, the jumper cable from my battery charger in the water and so what I did is I just created uh, just a little bit just another extra jumper cable out of my 8 gauge wire I've got that connected here and so this will actually be the thing that drops down into the water. These things are like, I don't know, like two bucks for two of them. And so I can replace those whenever I need to. So, uh, so now I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to get started. Got the battery connected. And uh, ready to fill it up. And there's my lovely wife filling the tank. Can we have a smile for the camera? <laughs> I've measured out my uh, electrolyte solution. I'm using Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. And uh, this right here is about a 20 gallon tank. And so uh, minus I think a couple gallons uh, because we didn't fill it all the way to the top. So I've got roughly between 18 and 20 tablespoons of washing soda that I'm gonna put into the water. And uh, I don't want it to clump as I put it in. And so as I put it in, I'm gonna kind of stir it. Can you get this? I'm gonna kind of stir it. So it does not clump. Nice. And it is working. We have bubbles galore. I'm running at about 40 amps right now and uh, got a lot of action happening. A lot of action. So I'm really pleased with this. It's working just fine. Uh, I'm going to leave it overnight. I'm, I don't think I'm going to run it at 40 amps overnight. I think I'm going to back it down to 10 and because uh, I'm not in any hurry. But that's uh, working great. So my first electrolysis setup is a success. Thank you to everybody in the cast iron cooking group on Facebook that uh, gave me pointers and helped me with this. I really appreciate it. So we will see how this turns out in the morning. Good night.